Hi everyone, it's Emma again from Ayrshire Face Paints and Glitter Bar. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these glitters on my arm. Uh, again, I'm going to use Glitter Body Arts Festival Face Gel as the base. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and put the base on. Just a light, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need, you can just spread it out. Do it bit by bit. It's nice and light, it's not slimy and sticky, um, it dries in quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, this one is Holographic Wine. A nice deep purple. And just pat it on. Again, like the other ones I just did with the blues and greens, these glitters can be for glitter tattoos, for adding to some festival glitter designs on the face, on the body, face, um, it gets suitable for the face or the body. So I would use these for glitter tattoos and also add in some texture for maybe some glitter on face paints. Not on top, but on the side to add a little bit of sparkle or festival designs. The next one I'm going to use is this puffer bottle. No, I don't need a brush for the put. Well, I might use a brush at the end just to pat it out a little bit. But as I said in my last video, so these are little glass bottles. And then this the little bit on top is like rubber plastic and that just squeezes. And then it comes out of the top there. So again, I've got the base on, so I'm not going to just squeeze it out. So easy. And then I'll just spread it out with my brush. But if you were doing this on a kid, say a glitter ta tattoo, um, you could just poof it out. You'll get used to how fast it comes out um, and just a little bit of a time. Wherever you want to direct it to the area where you want to put it on. Um, and then that would be it. You don't need a brush. Well, you'd brush it all off. But now that one is it is royal blue, but I thought it looked more purpley, so that's why I've included it with the purples. But you can see how easy it is to use a little puffer bottles, and it's a great wee size too. So they're five gram bottles or the five gram jar. You get the same amount in them. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit more gel. And next, I'm going to do this one's fuchsia. It's got a nice deep pinky purple. That is super sparkly. I know I say that about all of them, but some of them just sparkle more than others and wow. <laughs> you know what I mean. I've got a, one of these ring lights on just now, so it is quite a white light, but I hope you can see just how sparkly that is. Okay. And now I'm going to take this one. And this one is, if I can see, violet puffer bottle. So again, more gel. Okay. So you just get the bottle. Take the little lid off. And then... It just comes out 
So if you were doing a glitter tattoo, you can be quite specific in where it comes out and how much comes out. I'm obviously wanting a good bit to come out because I'm doing a swatch, but it should be enough. So that was violet. And then I'll just take my brush and spread it out a little. That one's really nice too, again, really sparkly. Amazing. Okay, um, and the next one I'm going to do is the purple in the puffer bottle. They're more great for like so you can't spill them as much. So if you're obviously having a little jar, maybe little hand, little people using them, they could just go sneeze or blow suddenly and then that would be everywhere. You don't get that with the puffer bottles, so that's one positive about puffer bottles. I'll just pat this one out too. I love that one too. That's quite similar to fuchsia. Purple and fuchsia are quite similar. And then I'll do The silvers. And hopefully you like seeing these ones. When I start, I've only been doing this for a matter of months, but I absolutely love it. And I've just fell in love with face painting and glitter. Um, and I just thought, you know, I want to do that. I want to see more stuff that you can, uh, see more things that, Gives you an example of what they're like in the skin, and because you don't, you do see some, but not on everything. And I didn't really see a lot of the glitter body art stuff like this, and it's again so different to see things online as it is to see actually here on a video live, like no editing, no, and it's on the skin, just swatched on the skin, no filter or anything like that. And it gives you more of an idea of because sometimes the pictures that you see online they look lovely etc and then you get them through and it's just different it's still nice but it's different than what you thought so hopefully it gives you an idea a better idea of what they're like so that one was silver sparkle the again more of a holographic rainbowy color colors in that sparkle the puffer bottle is silver but it's not the holographic it's more just like silver sparkle so more gel get the puffer bottle and then Spread it out. With a, I would could use this as well. So see, when I, let's say I was going to do festival designs, um, or I was at a wedding, and I was going to do some face gems and add some glitter around it, or glitter around the eye, like little glitter designs on the face, or the body. Um, you could use you could use chunky glitter as well as fine glitter to add a little bit more depth and texture. Um, as well, you don't need to just use chunky glitter. 
people make their own glitters as well so you can experiment and um, mix up your own glitters with chunky and fine okay so that's them all swatched and super sparkly my man hates me now because there's glitter everywhere <laughs> even no matter how much he tried to clean it up okay so that's the purples and the silvers if you've got any questions please um like or comment i'm just wanting to try and spread some positivity and uh, other glitter lovers um that's all i'm trying to do so if you want any other you want to see anything else or if you do like what i'm doing please comment share like whatever you want that would be great